You've had this conversation before. A sibling or a bestie reached out and they're finally ready to get into video games. Which titles should I recommend? What if they don't like them? This is a lot of pressure. Don't worry, I got you. Here is a list of my top five video games that will send any newbie on the ride of a lifetime. At number five, we have none other than Super Mario Odyssey. Why try to reinvent the wheel when the classics will suffice? The game features a large, expansive open world setting with a cast of characters that anybody can identify, regardless of your experience with video games. You're going from crazy cities to sandy deserts and even lush forests. This is also a good one if you want to play with that person as well. Thanks to one of the game's main features, Cappy. Mario can throw his cap around and the second person can take control of the cap and destroy objects and even collect coins. This allows you to navigate the game in completely different ways, including getting access to different vehicles and creatures like a tank or even a T-Rex. It's easy on the eyes, it's got a solid number of side quests and the puzzles are going to keep you entertained. The graphics and the music are solid, even though it's on the Nintendo Nintendo Switch, which doesn't have like the best graphics specs, but if they're looking for a classic feel with an action platformer, this is the one for them. Once they're done with Mario, we're gonna keep it on the Switch because they're going to be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. The name of the game with this one is Customizability. You can do whatever your mind desires on your character, your home, and the island itself. The coolest thing for me was the terraforming because sculpting the island into whatever my mind can think of is a huge plus. Whether you're looking to create rivers, waterfalls, or cliffs, it just works well. Well, after you're done interacting with villagers, gathering materials, trading different items, or even setting up a museum for all your exploits, the best part is somebody can come visit your island. Again, emphasizing on the collaborative aspect, some of your friends can come see what you've created and explore it with you. Go fishing, catch some bugs, trade with your friends. It doesn't matter. Anything your heart desires, you can do. Animal Crossing is a staple of the cozy gamer genre for a reason. Because you're exploring and expressing your inner self in the best way possible, and you can share that with the rest of the world. Overall, Familia, this is a solid pick. And then at number three, we are moving to Ori and the Blind Forest. This one ups the difficulty a slight bit, but the payoff is extremely rewarding. If you've never played it before, the basic simple premise is that you're following the journey of a forest spirit called Ori, where you're traveling through a crazy mystical world filled with danger and excitement. It is a platformer, so we're going back to the roots of Super Mario, but this time there's a lot of other abilities. You can jump, glide, wall climb, and do some crazy shit on the acrobatic side that will make you an imminent threat to all of your enemies. Gareth Coker composed the music and mwah, it is pristine. Besides the traditional platforming mechanics, it does have puzzles and the story is rich enough to warrant your exploration multiple times. It is heartfelt, emotional, great graphics, great music. It's an overall winner. Homie, I would be recommending this based on the visuals and the music by itself, but with the story that's gonna make you cry a couple times, this one is solid regardless of how you slice it. Number two is my hot take because the difficulty is there, but again, this one, if you finish it, it is a worthwhile experience. And we are, of course, talking about Undertale. This is one of the most critically acclaimed indie games of all time, where we are blending elements of the RPG genre and interactive storytelling to tell a beautiful story. The most important thing is the thematic of choice. You can decide if you want to go full free smoke on every single enemy that comes across your path, or if you want to spare their life. That choice will not only affect the outcome of that battle, but it also affects your relationship with the characters around you. There's a branching narrative, so everything can change at the blink of an eye. The standout features of Undertale aside of the interactive storytelling are the amazing, sensational musical score and the design. On the surface, it may look like an attempt to recreate the classic 16-beat gameplay that we knew from the like 80s and 90s. But beyond the visuals and the sound, the best thing, at least for me, was the story. Finding games that have this level of clever writing is a blessing because they are few and far between. And with that comes its fair share of surprises, both on the memorable character side, their stories, the horrors that they have to go through, and of course, exploring the humorous side of the hero's journey. It is one of a kind, heartwarming, challenging at times, but the best part of all is that it's entertaining as fuck. Another certified classic, highly recommend. At number one, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a hot take. Some people say you could never go wrong with The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild is one of the best games ever created, but I feel like when a title's gameplay mechanics, the sound, and the story can converge in a way that is memorable across different generations, that is something that should be explored in its entirety. Which is why, at number one, I'm going to recommend Uncharted. You're basically trying to do your own adventure as your own version of Indiana Jones, but Nathan Drake is actually cooler. It is a cinematic masterpiece covering the story of one Nathan Drake and his partner, Victor Sullivan. The graphics, the combat, the animations, they're gonna keep you hooked the entire way through, complete with some insane action set pieces that look like they came straight out 
out of a Hollywood blockbuster. The combat system is also going to expose your newbie friend into the RPG mechanics that we know and love from other titles, because there is a good mix of both hand-to-hand -hand and gunplay that will apply to multiple different genres like FPSs or MMORPGs or even brawler beat-em-ups. The challenge is not only going to be on the mechanical side, because the puzzles can also tease your brain into feeling like you're missing a simple detail that will take you into the next stage. Solving the puzzles and navigating through the complex environments that look beautiful was so memorable that it spawned multiple sequels and even a movie adaptation. The narrative is engaging and immersive, with well-developed characters and a complex storyline that expands multiple different entries. It also doesn't help that the voice cast is absolutely goaded. I mean, Naughty Dog can do no wrong. Granted, as new games come to light, this list could change at any moment. And I also have a different list of games that you should play after you're done with these five. So if we get to a thousand likes on this video, I'll upload that as soon as I can. But let me know, what is your favorite video game of all time? And if you're going to send this to a friend, which one do you think they're gonna like the most? I'll see you in the comments down below.